Let's move on now. The Korean Peninsula continues to simmer in tensions as North Korea has fired two ballistic missiles into the sea off the East Coast. This comes hours after a nuclear-powered U.S. submarine arrived in a naval base in South Korea. According to Japan's defense ministry, the two ballistic missiles fell outside its exclusive economic zone. This development comes in the sidelines of increasing military readiness by South Korea and the United States against North Korea's aggressive weapons program. The launch also comes ahead of the 70th anniversary of the 1953 Amistice Agreement that ended hostilities between North and South Korea. This is the third round of missile launches by North Korea since last week. Last week, the USS Kentucky became the first USS nuclear-armed submarine to come to South Korea since the 1980s. North Korea reacted to its arrival by test-firing ballistic and cruise missiles. The launch was being perceived as North Korea's ability to engage in nuclear strikes against South Korea and U.S. naval vessels. Pyongyang routinely conducts weapon tests to demonstrate its growing weapons closet. Last week, North Korea's President Kim Jong-un personally oversaw the firing of the country's newest intercontinental ballistic missiles, the solid-fuel Hwasong-18. The country also attempted to launch a space satellite recently. However, the efforts, which was its sixth attempt, failed because the rocket carrying it lost power. In April this year, North Korea tested what it called its most powerful solid fuel missile. The missile reportedly flew 1,000 kilometers on its maiden flight. Now, according to the reports, North Korea tested a record number of missiles in 2022, including the ones which are capable of reaching U.S. territory. Last year in November, Pyongyang tested an intercontinental ballistic missile which had a high angle and short range trajectory. The Japanese government claimed that this missile had the capability to strike U.S. homeland in minutes. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.